Hey there folks and welcome back for another weekend shave and today we're going to be using a gift. This is uh, Katie's Bubbles Dr. Jekyll and this was sent to me by my friend uh, Mason and we had a conversation the other day that was really a, a great conversation. He was telling me about his perspective on some political things and you know I was giving my uh, my side of it and I just want to say thank you for that uh, conversation Mason and thank you for this as well. This is um, teakwood, rosemary, and eucalyptus. And if I had to describe or characterize the way it smells, I would just say pleasant. It sort of comes together harmoniously. And it's just nice. That's the way I would describe it. And of course, you know the quality of Katie's bubbles is very good. Incidentally, he commissioned, I don't know how many of these, I think he still has some for sale on uh, the wet shaver uh, or Wet Shave Enablers Facebook group. So if you're interested in this, you might look there. Again, look for Mason on uh, Wet Shaver Enablers. So let's go ahead and load up. And while I do, I just want to talk about, well, the conversation I have with Don the Navy Goat uh, this week. I had uh, corresponded with Don the Navy Goat over email for the last year or better. I don't know. It's been a while. And, you know, we shoot each other messages back and forth. He's not on Facebook, regrettably, but he'll send an email and we, we talk. But uh, this week I had a chance to call and talk to Don on the phone and uh, he was, you know, as great as I imagined. We had a wonderful conversation and he was telling me about his Vietnam days and just a lot of great stuff. So Don, it was really a pleasure talking to you and I'm sure we'll be talking uh, again so stand by while I wet my face and get ready to get ready to lather up here yeah Don is a great guy and uh, for th those of you who don't know him uh, for those of you who are confined to Facebook he's on the Google Plus platform very ge generous uh, wonderful guy he's not a guy that does videos or he's you know out front of everything but I would suggest that via his generosity, he has contributed a ton to this hobby. And there are a number of people who would agree with that, who's been on the opposite side of his generosity. He's just a great guy. Not only because of his generosity, he's just, in my opinion, the type of guy that, you know, I could look up to as a role model based on his service, based on the way he handles his life and uh, I just think he's a wonderful guy. The razor we're going to use is the Razor Rock uh, Black Mamba. This has turned out to be probably my favorite razor and I didn't think so at the onset. I liked it but I never would have imagined that this would usurp my Wolfman and to be honest every day that I use this or every time I use it, which is usually a couple times a week, or, you know, every other week, four times. Um, it's getting close to sending the Wolfman out the door. Not that the Wolfman is a bad razor, because it's not. It's absolutely top of the line. But I have found that the result I get from this Black Mamba is excellent and it's easier on my skin. And, and by that I mean it's not as aggressive, so it's not as rough on my skin, although my skin can take a lot. Um, I just come away feeling like I have a great shave, but it's been easy on me. So it's tough on the beard, but easy on the face, and that's a great quality. And I'll come back and talk about that just in a moment, stand by. And I think when I said, um, Tough on the beard, easy on the face. I believe Ethan Griffin, we call him Ethan. He said that about the uh, Phoenix double up open comb. And I find that to be the case with this black diamond. Now, some will disagree. Some people like the feel of a lot of blade on your face. You won't get that with this, but I have found through my own use, for what it's worth, that more blade on the face doesn't necessarily equal a better shave and sometimes it's not for uh, certain types of people and it's it can produce a worse shave it can irritate you it can cause all matters problem now I can use anything 
don't get me wrong, aggressive, mild, medium. I've been through them all and I've sort of taken likings to different ones at different times, but since I quit buying a bunch of stuff and settled into using these razors and I'll put a blade in it and use it four times in a row, um, I've come to find out that razors like this and the Fat Boy, which I would have never guessed it, turned out to be really great for me once I used them for months, not weeks. And so even if you've been doing this for several years, you know, if you're not giving things a chance and you're just blowing through gear at a crazy pace, you really do overlook a lot of things and you don't give things a chance. And I have wasted a lot of money just blowing through gear. So you can follow my example and don't do it. I have made that mistake. You don't need to make it. Now with soaps, I mean, with soaps, I feel like, you know, soaps are inexpensive enough. You can try what you want and, and use what you like. But when it comes to hardware, razor specifically, buy that razor, use it for a good long time. That doesn't mean weeks. It means months and make your determination. Now, some things, if it's a super aggressive razor, you may find that it's just not for you over a short period of time. And some things you grab it and you just don't like it. You don't like the way it looks, like the way it feels. I get that. But for those who absolutely can't deal with a milder razor, one that doesn't have a lot of blade, I suggest you try it. And when you try it, be mindful of your technique. Stay in bed and we'll come back. You don't necessarily use the same technique for every style of razor, so adjust as needed. Maybe you need a different angle, maybe you need a different type of strokes, whatever the case may be. Um, it's imperative to really give that razor a workout before you decide, unless you just pick it up, you know, you know it just doesn't feel right. But as far as the actual way it cuts, um, and the effectiveness of it, I find, I have found through spending thousands of dollars, not hundreds, but thousands, I have found that you really need to give it time. And once you do, you might be surprised because I have been. And you know, that's just the way that goes. So, Give it a chance, and if it doesn't work out, you can always move it along. Um, but like I said, this razor here, which is the Black Mamba, and I don't know if they'll be available again anytime soon or not, it has put the Wolfman closer to the door, and that's saying something, because the Wolfman, I thought, was perhaps one of the best razors ever created, along with the Above the Tie. Those two are... The, the best there is in terms of craftsmanship quality, in my opinion. Uh, but this guy here, it may not have the bells and whistles in terms of craftsmanship, although it's very good. It just works. And that's kind of where I'm at now. I just want something that works. I'm not worried about, you know, all the hubbub about, you know, they put all this technology into it and it's slanted or it's this or that and I love slants don't get me wrong but if you happen to pick up a razor it's just a regular old razor and it works great and it's not slanted go with it I mean, don't let other people in marketing tell you what works for you decide for yourself and I'm telling you for this for me this one is hitting the spot along with like fat boy and and others all right, stand by, let's rinse the face, come back with the post. All right, so we're gonna use our Thayers, and you may have noticed that spot's still there, and that's because of me, not the Thayers. I keep rubbing it, and that's what's causing the uh, red spot, but the Thayers will still do its work, have no fear. It's great stuff. Of course, you know, because it's magic. Made by witches. All right. That said, let's talk a little bit about the soap we used. Katie's Bubbles Dr. Jekyll. Again, Mason 
on razor and brush, or excuse me, he's on razor and brush, but in the wet shave enablers group has some of these left, I think. So if you're interested, again, teakwood, rosemary, eucalyptus, give it a shot. Thank you, Mason. Uh, had a great shave from it. Great performer, very pleasant scent. Is it in my top 10 cents of all time? No. Is it pleasant? Yes. So if you're looking for a relaxing, mellow type scent, it's pretty darn good. All right, I'm gonna use today for aftershave something I haven't used for a very long time. The Elusive Hard to Get Fine Lavender. Now, I used to hate lavender, really until I think I um, picked up this aftershave. And the only reason I bought it was because there were very few left, and I think Jaime Cobos found the uh, place that was still selling them, so I bought one. And after I used it a while, I was like, man, this is good stuff. So um, the, it's been rumored to be returning for some time. I don't know if it will or won't, but if you happen to see one for sale on a BST, which is rare, you might want to get it if you like lavender. It's the best lavender aftershave that I've ever used by far. All right, folks, so thanks again for joining me and listening to me babble. And as always, you guys have a great day.